In this vlog, we're gonna be talking about the difference between the front end and the back end in web development. This is the difference. If you've been in web development for a while, you obviously know what these things are. But if you're just getting started, you may be a little confused. You hear people talking about full stack, and we'll do a video on that. And you hear people talking about front end, and you hear people talking about back end. And some say, I, I love front end development. I'm a front end developer, that's what I do. And some are like, I love back end development, and that's what I do. I get down on the back end. And you're like, what are these people talking about? For simplicity's sake, we can we can break the internet up into two parts. We can break it up into the client and we can and, and the server. The client is the is the the user user's computer. So when you go and you log on to the internet, you open your web browser, log on to the internet, your computer is acting as a client to the internet. The internet has all the stuff you want. The client will help you see that stuff when you request it. The internet is the server side of everything. And now of course, when you go to a specific website, like you go to Gmail or Google to do a search or YouTube to watch a video, you are interacting with some server somewhere. So for instance, YouTube, YouTube houses all of these videos inside of data centers all around the world. They're, they're in data centers on servers and these servers are connected to a web server somehow. So you have all of these video files that are stored and they're connected to, to an application. Uh, they're probably all in a database. The videos are in a database. They're connected to it, an application that calls the database. Hey, I want this video so I can give it to the client, your computer, so you can, so you can watch it. So a back end, developer works on that side of things. So they're working in some lower level programming language, maybe C, C++, depending on what the servers are and how the everything is architected. Some some servers, Python is the language that that, that they use to, to script different tasks and things like that and interacting with the database like that. And some use a completely different language. There's, there are servers out there that are that use COBOL and all kinds of uh, Fortran. There's all different kinds of, of servers and, and languages out there. And on the front end, when you get to the front end, you're working on typically the, maybe not necessarily how the website looks, but the functionality of the main website, right? Where are the buttons at? Where are the forms at? Form validation, making sure people enter uh, passwords that meet a certain strength or or email addresses or phone numbers and you're checking to make sure that it's a valid phone number. In e-commerce, you may be validating uh, the credit card numbers and, and dates and, and all of this stuff. Now also, you wanna validate that stuff on the back end. So on the front end, the front end developer's job is would, would be to make sure all the forms and stuff are in, in the right places and the buttons are working. And when, when someone fills out the form and they click the button, they validate that this is a name and this is a phone number and this is an email address. This is the kind of format that we're expecting to see. Then they can package that up and they can send that off to the server. The back end developer, would go, okay, when I receive this request from the client, this is what I want to do with that. I want to open it up and I want to look at the information in there and I want to double check and make sure that this information is correct. And then they say, okay, and then there's a rule that has to happen. So if somebody's creating an account, then that developer figures out how to take that information and put it in the database to create an account and all the different things that uh, uh, are required for an account to exist. And they would do the same with shopping carts. If, if I receive a request to add this thing to a shopping cart so somebody can check out, they interact with the database with getting the prices and maybe the sizes and then matching those with the address of the customer and then packaging this all up for the checkout page. And then that's when everything's done on the back end, something would be returned to the client saying, hey, this is all done on the back end. You can show this on the screen now. And then the client would put that up so you can see it. So they're just two different ways of, they're, they're two sides of the same coin. Now, I will admit that back end is a little more complicated because now you're dealing with like a lot of, everything is all about logic and it, you're not really focusing on how things look and feel. You're focusing on how efficient algorithms are and, and your functions and your arrays, how well your code is written and all these different things. So it's a more technical side of things. And you have people who can do both. They do the front end and they do the back end. But typically, it's a little easier when you have someone doing both, when you have individuals focusing on each thing. At the very least, it allows you to build things faster and to work 
a lot quicker. I hope that answers your questions about what is the difference between the front end and the back end. And you're asking this question probably because you're thinking about what you want to do in the future as far as web development goes. So I would say this, if you are interested in what happens when people see a web page, how things look, how things feel, how animations move and, and what happens when they click a button and maybe some stuff dealing with other related items that customers may want to see if they're on an e-commerce site or other information that they may be interested in if they're reading a blog post or something like that. You can work in ways in the, in the front end to do those things right on the client. Now, if you're more interested in in, in speed and efficiency in dealing with the database and, and, and querying a lot of information and storing a lot of information, reading and writing a lot of information, setting up shopping carts and handling the, the transaction requests to and from those and working with different APIs on the internet to do different things like import maps from Google, setting up payment processors and stuff like that, then the back end is where you wanna go. The front end is more design oriented and the back end is more logical oriented how does all this stuff talk to each other and how do we how do we provide all of the functionality for the business that exists on the back end whatever that may be and how do we make it so the front end the clients can interact with this information that we have over here all right team that should cover it for the difference between the front end and the back end i hope it all made sense if it did not leave a comment in the notes below or the comment section below uh it, it, even if even if it did and you're happy, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up if this video was good and a thumbs down if you think it was bad. If you if you really like the content, you like me, I like my style, you like my hats, the hats are coming back. You want to click the notification bell and, and click it so it has those things on it and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes up. So don't forget to subscribe, team. I'm the real Casadero, your biggest fan, and I will see you in the next vlog.